Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video we have another very very interesting radical equation problem which we are going to solve for the real values of x. So let's get started. By writing our denominator cannot be 0. So our answer cannot be equal to 4. Now I will subtract 10 from both the sides. So minus 10 to the LHS and minus 10 to the RHS. Now plus and minus 10 will be over. I can write the square root of 16 minus x over x minus 4 will be equal to x minus 10. Now x cannot be equal to 4. So I can multiply both sides by x minus 4. This side also x minus 4. Now we will cancel x minus 4 from LHS. So we will get square root 16 minus x equal to x minus 10 times x minus 4 or I can write RHS as x square minus 4x minus 10x minus 14x minus 10 times minus 4 plus 40. Now I can make this perfect square. So I will write x square minus 14x plus 49 and then I need to write minus 9. 49 minus 9 is 40. Now from the first three terms we can write this is x minus 7 whole square. And then we have minus 9. Let us write equation here. Square root 16 minus x equal to x minus 7 whole square minus 9. Now here I can write square root 16 minus x as 9 minus x minus 7 which will give us 9 minus x plus 7. So 9 plus 7 is 16. Right hand side we will write as it is x minus 7 whole square minus 9. Now we have x minus 7 on both sides. So let us say x minus 7 equal to m suppose. So I can write our equation is square root 9 minus m will be equal to m square minus 9. Now we can consider squaring both sides. So power 2 and power 2. Now square root and square will be over from LHS. So I can write our equation. Right hand side I will write first m square minus 9 whole square and then I can write 9 minus m. Now I will subtract m square from both the sides. Minus m square minus m square. Now in LHS we can apply difference of two squares formula. And from RHS, I will take negative 1 common out. So I can write our equation m square minus 9 plus m a plus b times m square minus 9 minus m. This is a minus b. Now I will take negative 1 common. So in the bracket I can write m square plus m minus 9. Now I will take 
all the terms to one side. Let's write. So I can write our equation m square plus m minus 9 in one bracket. Then in other bracket m square minus m minus 9. Then we will write plus sign m square plus m minus 9 equal to 0. Now we can take m square plus m minus 9 overall common. So I will write m square plus m minus 9 common out. So in other bracket I can write m square minus m minus 9 plus 1 equal to 0 or I can write m square plus m minus 9 times m square minus m minus 8 equal to 0. Now from product 0 rule I can write m square plus m minus 9 equal to 0 or m square minus m minus 8 equal to 0. So we have two quadratic equations. Let us use quadratic formula to find out the values of m. So I will write here our first equation was m square plus m minus 9 equal to 0. So I can write the value of m will be as per formula minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2 times a. So as per quadratic equation a is 1, b is 1 again, c is negative 9. So I will get the value of m minus 1 plus minus the square root of 1 square will be 1 minus 4 times 1 times minus 9 over 2 times 1 will give us 2. So I can write here m will come out minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 plus 36 over 2 or minus 1 plus minus the square root of 37 over 2. So we have two real values. Now we have second quadratic equation m square minus m minus 8 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula once again. So I can write minus of minus 1 plus 1 plus minus the square root of minus 1 square will be 1 minus 4 times 1 times negative 8 divided by 2 times 1. So I will get here 1 plus minus the square root of 1 plus 32 over 2 or I can write here we will get 1 plus minus the square root of 33 over 2. So again we have two real solutions. Now I will write all the four solutions m equal to I have got minus 1 plus minus square root 37 over 2 and 1 plus minus square root of 33 over 2. Now I can write the approximate values. If I will write here then with plus sign in between we will be getting plus 2.51 with minus sign 
will be getting minus 3.51 here with with the value 1 plus root 33 over 2 will have approximately 3.4 and with 1 minus square root 33 over 2 we will be getting approximately minus 2.4 now we have to check which values of m we are going to accept and which we have to reject. So for this I will write our equation the square root of 9 minus m equal to equation was m square minus 9. So I will apply two conditions as we used to apply for radical equation. This radicant must be positive always and this right hand side will also be positive. So for RHS I can write two conditions m should be less than negative 3 and m should be greater than 3. From LHS I can easily write m should be less than 9. Once I will take intersection of both the condition, this one and these two conditions all together, intersection will give us either m should be less than minus 3 or m should lie in the interval 3 to 9. Then we will be getting the real solutions. So just by the given inequality condition I can accept these two and I can easily reject these two. So I will write here accepted m value minus 1 minus root 37 over 2 with minus 3.51 answer for the value of m. And for 3.4, I will write 1 plus square root 33 over 2. Now our target was x. So, but we know that x minus 7 was m. So, I will write here x minus 7 was m. So, x we can write m plus 7. So I will write final answer x will be m plus 7 and once I will add then 14 minus 1 will give us 13. So 13 minus square root 37 over 2 our first real solution and 14 plus 1 which is 15 plus square root 33 over 2. So finally we have two real solutions 13 minus square root 37 over 2 and 15 plus square root 33 over 2. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe our channel. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.